Hey Leo, my ascendant brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. Check them out for all three so that you know which part of you I resonate with most as a reader. With that said, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, if you are a continued subby, you know, right, so that's your key to the week. If you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and this resonates, hit the subscribe button please. All right, so for your key to the week this week, you got the Justice card. This is where we sign on the dotted line. Sorry, it's way too many. Um, this is where you have to sign on the dotted line, right? It's where you really are looking at or into being or tying yourself to someone or something. This is a card of commitment. It's the ultimate card of commitment because it's where you make something legally binding or you put your name to something. You put your or as one of my um, old bosses, she used to call it our paw print, um, which I always thought was funny. Uh, so um, in all of these different areas of life, it's quite possible that new commitments show up for you. And it could also be that you are um, maybe forging bonds or partnerships and potentially making things legally binding. For your actions and options, you have the emperor. So this literally is a legal combination. Um, so the emperor showing up as your actions and options, it gives you a really deep, um, there's a powerful push that comes from within this week where you are gaining, gathering and presenting or putting forward your own authority. Remember, the actions and options is about what you do, what you put out into the world. And the emperor is about commanding your environment, commanding respect. It's also about leadership. You couple this, which is a cardinal sign because the emperor is ruled by Aries, a fellow fire sign. Justice is ruled by Libra, also a fellow, fellow cardinal sign. And suddenly we see that this week there is something about pushing ahead. There is something about, that you are absolutely committed to seeing through. And it's quite possibly that a uh, an important male figure in your life could help you achieve this or may say to you, this is something that you need to do. Now, when it comes to the options that are available to you, there's a chance for you to make something official. There's a strong feeling that I get, because I know what this is going to be for me, um, and I'm actually really surprised, because um, as I saw this and I said that, like I had the, the intuitive hit of what it's going to be. This is an opportunity that you previously were offered circa 2016, that comes back around um, and gives you a chance to sort of move forward with, right? Now, I'm gonna tell you straight up, do not piss about with this. You either want it or you don't. You're in or you're out. And the reason I say this is not to fear monger or to say like, oh, you're never gonna get this chance again. What I'm saying is, you are probably already very well aware like for me, because I know what this is, it's so weird. Like I've just, I've got this really deep intuitive knowing right now that it's gonna be an opportunity that came up for me in 2016. And at the time I was all over the place. And so I just kind of batted it off because I didn't really realize how big a deal it was. And over the years I have thought to myself, wow, you know, I wonder how that could have gone. You get a second shot, don't waste it for your communications and conversations you've got the god of wands so this is actually the king of wands which is all about visibility showing up it's about leadership and remember out of all of the kings the king of wands has worked the hardest for his position he's the one that has proven it now an aries man may feature for you in some way shape or form specifically with or around your work your profession or your career uh, maybe even around your studies. And because you've got the justice card here, this could be around your work. This could be very beneficial for you. It could really help you raise your profile. It could really help you get yourself out there in some regard. And the thing is, 
you have to show up, right? You've got all the talent, you've got all the skill, you've got all the ability, and now you have to show up, all right? That's the message here. Now, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this is potentially you signing a contract that puts you in a lead position. Maybe you're getting a TA position. Maybe you are, um, maybe you get headhunted, right? A lot of the big companies are doing this right out of college now. Uh, you know, you, you hit your last year and they say to you, you know, don't bother with that, sign the contract, let's get you in, right? Um, Personally, I don't think that's smart. I would finish my education first, especially if you're, you know, if you've only got a few months to go or you're in the last year, um, finish it, right? Finish it, get the piece of paper and then and then bounce, okay? Now, um, you know, if, the, if they really want you and they think that you're worth having, they will wait for you to finish to get your degree. When it comes to those of you that are employed by somebody else, Again, this is you proving your mettle. It's you showing up in some way. It's also you allowing yourself to be seen, allowing yourself to be visible and saying, this is how we do it. It's kind of like a, this is how I do or do as I do, not rather than, not like do as I say. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, you are about to get a whole boost this week in some way. Someone's gonna put you on, someone's gonna give you information that really makes a difference or really show you something that can absolutely help you skyrocket stuff. And this is going to be huge. It's gonna be immense. And you know, maybe it doesn't show up in that huge, immense way right away but it will, you will look back on this week and you will say to yourself, you know what, if I hadn't met, connected, reconnected, gone back down this route, whatever the case might be, it wouldn't be what it is today. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, where is the fun? Okay, like where is the fun? Bring it in. For your love and relations, you've got the death card. So endings, completions, culminations. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, it's very possible that a relationship could go through a big transformation this week. What is a big transformation? Yes, an ending is one, but a big transformation could be a separation. A big transformation could be, uh, maybe you have a heart to heart with your significant other and say to them, you know, I need something different or I wanna go in a different way. Uh, there's something about the relationship this week that is shifting and with that justice card, it's kind of like, what is fair for both of us? What do I need? What do you need? And how are we going to flourish? A, as a couple, but B, as separate people in that couple, right? Some big questions this week. Uh, when it comes to those of you that are single, I wouldn't be surprised if you're connecting with somebody this week. And because it's the death card, it could be deep, it could be intense, it could be sexual, it could be primal. It could be all of the above, and yet with the death card, it might even be something that you don't want or desire to talk about. And usually Leo's like the, the one where they, they wanna show off their partner, you know, they wanna do all of that. This you might be really wanting to keep very much to yourself. And then finally, for your money and materials, you have the Page of Cups. Whatever you are working on this week, whatever you are setting into motion, you will be seeing the results of it come uh, late October, early to mid-November. So Scorpio season is where you're gonna see the direct results, the direct financial rewards, blessings, growth, etc., from whatever you are doing this week in particular. Work hard at it do the work, all right? When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the Page of Cups, on a sort of internal level, this is about how your emotions are affecting your outlook and your body. On an external level, the Page of Cups can represent your endocrine system. Okay, so something to think about, especially if your hormones have been all over the place. And then finally, when it comes to your home and environment, this is a gift. There's a gift of some sort that, um, maybe this is a housewarming gift if you've recently moved. Maybe it is uh, a family member gives you like, you know, a financial blessing and they say, look, you know what, get a new sofa on me or whatever the case might be. There's some kind of gift 
that is given to you with or around the home that I think is going to really bring a lot of smiles and blessings. And I do want to say while I'm at it, uh, remember that the weeklies will be going into the YouTube membership. It's going to be $8.99 a month. So if you want to keep getting these weeklies and some of the other goodies that I'm going to be bringing from time to time, uh, make sure you check that out. I just want to give you plenty of time this is happening in a couple of weeks. There's been any other content that will be coming up and going on to um, YouTube that I think you guys are going to love and really enjoy. But I just want you to know, like, that different stuff is coming and it's coming soon. And obviously, these will be a part of a membership. All right. So take care. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. And I'll see you soon.